one thing that pops up in my mind that I really want people to understand is that Obama came out of Chicago. Well, so did Al Capone. So did the organized uh, syndicates, uh, the Jewish syndicates, the mafia, the Lucuso Nostra, uh, the American outfits, we would call the outfits. Uh, you know, Al Capone made Chicago famous. Why? Because at one time, uh, going back into the 20s, 20s, 30s, and 40s, 1940s, uh, when I was born, Al Capone and the mob controlled uh, Chicago. And Chicago was famous around the world for uh, for its organized crime, its criminal syndicates. Even the mayor and the city hall were on the take. And there's all kinds of documentaries about this on, tel- on, on television and YouTube today. Go on to YouTube and look up, uh, you know, organized crime in America. And there's all kinds of documentaries telling you about how really disgusting and filthy the political system was, the organized, organized criminal system was in Chicago. But what a lot of people don't know, I do, because I'm 76 years old, and I damn well remember it. But most people today haven't spent 76 years on, on this earth looking at the kind of things I have. But I remember, and you can go on the web and, and clarify it for yourself, that along with organized crime and the syndicates and the Al Capone and the drug dealers and all of the uh, professional criminal outfits coming out of Chicago, New York, and uh, and uh, Detroit, and all of those old, you know, we get a we get a glimpse of what it was like in the movie Godfather. Or uh, Goodfellows. Those are good, great movies, but they were important movies, especially just to give you an idea about what the world and, and Chicago and America was really like way back when. A lot of uh, anybody in my audience is 70 and 80 and 90 years old. They'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, America was filled with organized crime, and criminal syndicates. Um, so. Understanding that and understanding that uh, Chicago played the leading role in organized crime, uh, you also need to know with that something I know and the old and the old school people, all the old guys listening to me know, is that uh, they had a partner in crime. Usually criminals do have partners in crime. And organized crime in Chicago in particular, uh, was well known that there was a, another component to organized crime, and you could go on the web and check all this out and watch the documentaries. The organized crime in Chicago and, and, and you know, in, in, in America continually was the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party was a criminal outfit going all the way back to before 1900. If you go back into history of America, you will see where the uh, Democratic Party, what we call Democratic Party, came from. Uh, a great book on that subject was, uh, I've talked about it many times, was Fire and the Minds of Men by James Billington. It's on my website and my research website. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But in the book, Fire and the Minds of Men, which incidentally is on the web for, for free e- e-book download, uh, Fire and the Minds of Men, James Billington. James Billington happens to be today the chief librarian for the Library of Congress. So you don't get any more mainstream uh, than that, being the li- chief librarian for the Library of Congress. And he wrote a book called Fire and the Minds of Men where he explained uh, where the Democratic Party came from. And it goes back to the secret societies in Europe and the organized crime in Europe and how organized crime came to America. It came to uh, Europe. It went into Russia and, uh, and overthrew the Russian government, went into China and overthrew the, the Chinese government. And it's been 
you know, been moving around the world, overthrowing governments, killing people, murdering people. The Democratic Party is a dirty, dirty criminal outfit. Go on the web, go on YouTube, or go to your library and read the, the Democratic Party and organized crime. There are tons of books and videos and documentaries talking about the organization of organized crime and organized Democratic Party, Democratic Party. And so when I see people like Obama and all the others who have come out of the Chicago area who are, you know, I know the history of Chicago. I know the history of the connection between organized crime, bloodletting, murder in, in Chicago, people dying on the streets, being murdered by the organized crime and the organized uh, Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is the filthiest organization on the planet Earth, period. It is directly connected to what we call Marxist-Leninist communism. And if you, if you study the, the theology and the philosophy of Marxist-Leninism that was practiced you know, around the world in communist governments, you will see, as I have said to you before, you will see that all communist governments officially are referred to as people's democratic republics. Uh, China is the People's Democratic Republic of China. The Soviet Union was called the People's Democratic Republic of the Soviet Union. Uh, we have the People's Democratic Republic of Cuba. The People's Democratic Republic of North Korea. It's the People's Democratic Republic of this. People's Democratic Republic for that. All of them are Marxist-Leninist Soviet communist operations. So today, we have in America the People's Democratic Party. Wake up, democratic, read the word. Go back and look at the etymology of the word and the concept of democracy. And you will see that democracy is not a people's democracy. It is a corporate democracy. A corporate democracy today is referred to correctly as Communism. This is why today we don't have Americans. We have the gay, the gay, the gay community. We have the the uh, the Hispanic community. We have the uh, you know we have this community, the black community. Or we we are divided into communities, which gives us our word communism. From our commune or communism, we get a community. And so we're being divided. Well, that's the old communist way, dividing and conquer. So you divide the blacks from whites, you divide the gays from the straights, you divide the, the Jews from the Arabs, you divide people and keep dividing them, and now you have chaos. And out of chaos, we know that the uh, secret societies of Europe said uh, it requires chaos to bring a new order. It's called Ordo Ob Chao. Do some research on all of this stuff, and you'll find out that this old man, uh, sounds like he's rattling off, is actually telling you the real history of America, of Chicago, of the Democratic Party, of the Mafia, La Cosa Nostra, all the Jewish syndicates out of Chicago and Los Angeles, all of the dirty filthy criminal organizations which are ripping the people off. They call them banks uh, and bankers, and the bankers are financing the politicians. Politicians are crawling on their knees to the bankers, and the whole of America has become a cesspool of organized crime. We call it, the, uh, we call it democracy. No, it's not democracy. It's organized crime. So that's why today people who have been born and raised, I mean, I'm not complaining about them, but people who have been born and raised and know nothing else but Marxist communism, that's all they have been taught in school, that's all they have seen on, on television, uh, news, that's what they are being fed every day from colleges, universities, uh, and they don't mind telling you. 
uh, universities don't mind telling you that they're teaching Marxist, Leninist, Soviet communism in the universities and colleges and schools and high schools, uh, and they're doing it in such a way that you're not supposed to know it.